episode looks at issues of identity, body image, self-confidence, and how society often makes it difficult for people to be themselves. We spend time with a transgendered person negotiating her way through the city, exploring the possibility of a sex change operation. I always knew what I was since my childhood, especially when I started um, being or uh, reaching the stage, the teenagehood, the teen stage, I already knew what I was, that I'm attracted to, to boys and I'm not a boy. My name is Sifiso Leonard Ngosi, but I'm known as Candice. I was born and raised here in Sakane and I'm 27 years old and I don't have parents. My parents passed away in 2011, both parents. I remember clearly I used to, to steal my mother's um, nail polish and put it upright on my nails. Sometimes I would take her clothes when she's not around and wear them. Sometimes I'd take a jersey and put it on my head and pretend as if I'm having a weave, you know, and just flip that weave, rubbing my hair. <laughs> That's how I used to do it as a child when I was growing up. Being different from other boys, some kids will tease you, calling you names, and some will laugh at you, saying, yo, you know, things like that. Because then I wasn't understanding what was happening, I was still young and growing up. I find it very offensive and I would cry, go and tell my mom that so-and-so did this to me, so-and-so called me names. If I was a magician, I would have changed myself a long time ago. <laughs> I remember there was a time where I used to pray about it, that can it, can, can it, please, can I see a miracle just one day when I wake up, having breast, having a vagina, being a woman that I feel that I am. father, my dad, they got separated before uh, my mom gave birth to me. I was very, very close to, with my grandmother, with my mom as well, but I felt too close to my grandmother because uh, we used to share a lot of things. My mother didn't approve. She was never happy about it. She wished I had a child. She wished I had a girlfriend. There were times when, whereby we were not on speaking terms because of my sexuality. One night, I packed my bags. My mom was at work. I didn't get the chance to have a talk with her. I decided to wait for them to go to sleep. When, while they were sleeping, I woke up, I took my bag, I opened my grandmother's window and went out. That was the day I went to go to be a Sangam. I stayed there, I trusted until I graduated. I came back, I practiced, I had clients. It wasn't easy because I couldn't express myself. I couldn't be the person that I am. 
I couldn't put on my makeup like I'm putting on my makeup now. I couldn't do my nails because of my uh, my clients. I had to put. I had to prioritize my clients and uh, oppress my happiness or oppress my feelings until I felt that you know what I can't take it anymore. My grandmother passed away in. 2010, after my grandmother's funeral, she called me, we sat down, and then she told me that, you know what, I've noticed that there's nothing I can do, there's no way that I can change you, I love you the way you are, and I'm accepting you of who you are. June, same year, my mom passed away. My mom had um, a heart failure. I was 24, I was very young, and it's not so long I lost my dad. I still wish my mom was still around, especially now, being the person that I am. I so wish she was still around, just to see what a legend she, gave, she, she, she has brought up. One thing that I would say that hasn't changed about me, I, it's my spirituality. I believe and I think that I have a calling of uh, serving the word of God. Okay. Though I haven't yet discovered exactly which is it, am I a worshiper or is it, uh, do I have to be a pastor or what? Being a transgender person, does the word of God have any misunderstandings with people of a different sexuality or what? Okay. First of all, I would like to start off, and I want okay. to encourage you to remove the label that you put upon yourself as a transgender person. <laughs> wow, okay. We are all men and women created by God. So when you, when, when you look now, that we, we, we've got people who go for sex change, people who go for surgeries, maybe they're not happy with their nose or whatsoever, they go for nose. What do you say about that when one has to go and change what God created them as? At the end of the day, God, cre God wants to be worshipped in spirit and in truth. Right? Yes. So God wants to worship in spirit. Okay. Our flesh is just the vessel okay. that we use for the work of the kingdom. Recently, I'm, I'm encountering lots of emotional breakdowns. I'm developing anger, stress, mm. and I distance myself a lot from people. I've tried before to go through the transition process as to attend the psychologist and sessions. the sessions and everything, but I was delayed yeah. and I couldn't even find the exact answer as to why I had yeah. to be delayed. So as a, a, as a person, a professional who's working with the transgender um, community, uh, community uh, what would be your advice to me? Transitioning is very, very difficult. It's a journey, you know. Mm -hmm on its own. So it's a very stressful, very frustrating journey. Here in South Africa, we don't have enough hospitals okay. who are doing the whole uh, transitioning process. They have a, a system in place that they are using. Uh, and one of the things that they do is that, you know, one needs to see a psychologist just to make sure that the person, an individual, mm -hmm. have a good support system and the person is mentally ready because of the journey itself can be can be very stressful. Okay. You know, after transitioning, you can encounter discrimination. You can you know you can just be faced with so many challenges that you might not personally be able to deal with. The psychologist uh, sessions, they are actually you know one of the foundations for your, for your support system. Oh, wow. Your psychologist should be the one you know who gives you you know uh, emotional support when you need to talk to someone. They have to be there for you. A para hospital they don't take us transgender seriously. I don't know, or they think maybe we are mentally disturbed. Sometimes you'll hear others saying, but you are beautiful the way you are, why don't you just stay gay? It's not about choosing, but it's about how you feel. It's about the emotions that you go through and those nurses there, by a delela. 
they'll tell you that they're on their lunch, they can't attend you, come back next week. And forgetting that we stay far. Bara is the only um, hospital whereby, for now, that I know which deals with transgender people. It's better if you go to the private, um, private doctors or private hospitals, but you need to trust your pockets there because it's very expensive. It's very, very expensive. Bara One Hospital it, it just started with the, with, the, with the clinic. It didn't have gender clinic at all previously. So I think it's about two years now that they've been trying to put the system in place. So what they come up, they came up with was that uh, they going to have a strong uh, foundation for transgender patients, uh, which is going to be their psychiatric department. So psychiatric department uh, started seeing more trans people and then they would refer them to endocrine department. Mm -hmm. But then now the challenge was that the endocrine department was not so passionate like the psychiatric department was. So that was, I think that was the barrier. There is an act in Constitution, X49 of 2005, uh, where they allow transgender people to legally change their gender markers mm -hmm. in their IDs. One does not have to, 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 to undergo surgery in order to do that. But in what it says, it says that you need to have been diagnosed. I need to be patient until I, I, I find a good job whereby I'll work hard and save enough money or if it happens, by the grace of God, find sponsorships to do a sex change. Even today, I'm still, I still, if, if that opportunity can arise, I'll take it with two hands. Because I feel that I am a woman. Young women in KZN talk about the insults, taunts, bullying, and shaming they endure because of insensitive comments about their appearance. I was skinny. You can even see a matambo, like to a skeleton, it was a clear cool, my bones, the abonging, music to our social skin, you know, Jack, and all of that. About so meaning I'm gonna go to as in money, I could humble with a music to a bow with a gap, you know, with a giving a man a low self esteem about just come home every day in Gikala. School in Mofunda, we stood up. We are looking at youths of Trito Jangabani, Salubis and Clubbits, we stood up. Ungulu, be with a cool, was a convincing Gulu, be at Uma, Uma Nagging and Lazo, Goba Nazo, Java Bona Wena, Mazo Kono was, who would swing our Kono to Gush. Wagung Pataga began Nan and Gota, not in a singing movie with Goba Vele in Gim Kul, Aikin Tezo Chiga Lok. Angabanak, a baguso, gisege, mabengi, beng beng segi sa, the same page. I have feelings, I hurt, just like everybody else. Don't treat me any different just because my skin is different. It's the skin, that's all. Before I started being confident, because being around people about the condition, everyone, every time they see me, they be like, ah, umlungu, and then, okay, I love that one. I don't have a problem with being called umlungu, but there's the other one, it's showering, and there's the other ones. Those ones used to hurt me. Primary school was difficult. I used to get teased all the time. And then I got to high school, and then it became different. I, I don't know, somehow being in an all-girls school changed me. It, it made me feel more confident. I fell in love with myself and I started embracing the beauty that comes with the skin condition. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the odd one out, but with my family, they, made, they never made me feel any different, whatever. I, I've always felt like, you know, well, I am like everybody else, but I always felt like I belong because 
my skin has never made them to feel like they have to treat me any different. Treat me like all the other black ones. I'm the same to them. It's, it's probably why I'm this confident, having a good support system, people who understand me. I know you love me, I know, I know. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able so at times, I have stretch marks. I have to do it. And at times, you get to the phone and you get to the because you get to the phone and you get to the phone. that comfortable. I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able I'm, I'm fine the way I am. Yes, it's a trouble because it's a total size. But all in all, Jay, I am fine. It's only if it's if it's depressing, it's only depressing if Nicholo Mont school manch. What people don't understand is that moment was fazani, omnyama, you go through so much of challenges. Whereby now we usually you must keep count on what's going to happen, what's not going to happen in your body. And Uma would just say, I told him that I'm going to nag. Zolula. I have been able to get 10 ganyam, Nissin Janin ganyam, eat a legangina. What's your problem? A poo may a hamba come as good as in Guma, Ganyam Zolula. And Uba Bagalangin, he would just say, Umushem Tanam, Kamala did Batinumush. So man, I have a lot of Jungum Zala, a felon fago multivitamin, Agnigazam, my vitamin for Ling, and I would think about chew weight and stuff. I was so good and then I was cool and I started gaining weight. Because I even became polemic. I was so cool and 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 I was so cool. So, up until I was able to get a lot of money before I was able to get a lot of money, but I was able to get a lot of money. It's cool and it's cool and it's cool and it's cool and it's cool. Okay, beautiful. Good thing, and the village is our memory class. Go by the Minangang Tone and Tongues of Kriakuna. So I'll just say something to you as a hurter just to get back at you. Give me a little booby and go booby. Because, like, Nang, it's okay. If I'm Polish and I'm going to do the same, I'm going to go to the same. Because, Nam, Bang Bonu would see Lento Engines are going to be wrong. But, Scott, I'm going to be wrong. 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 I'm going to why can't I just make other people happy, even though Nami Beng Sugumeza, but Don't you think it's wrong to, to judge Umutu by the looks Ngalamazi, like without you getting to know the inside of him? Don't you think that is wrong? So, Uzogazanjani, Uzogazanjani personality Umutu. I mean, you get to know them. Then, Umutu, Umutu, I am original. I don't like how my weaves and stuff. I go weaves. Young. I go to a modern. I don't like it. It's a new original. I don't know the zake. Me na mafetu. Me no hotu smami. I want one who to write for me na. Cause it's cutting some manje. I will get us into all mundo. Oh, yeah, I'm a weaves, I don't get on to boost by a set of a farmer foundation. I don't get on. Go by me, 
It's like aso enzela tina. Abo kanti it's it's not about tina. It's about who ena uboti uzizo unjani. If utobi foundation if unai tovang it's about you. Abo ngere wenzela mina. Mina ngi davan li ngi pili pili ya me. Abo as long as I am comfortable with something, then I am gonna wear it because so, I am comfortable in it. Okay, wenzanja masu zuguti abantu ba ba itan. That's that's the thing I was saying. I don't care what people say. It's my life. They don't have a say in my life. <laughs> It's my life. I'm a chicken cook for 14 to 15 years. I'm a size 32, size 30, 14 to 15 years. And the local. Because the question is after I had my child, I was like, okay, I'm saying I'm going to say 32. I'm going to go in Ghana. I'm going to go back and find Ghana. I'm going to collect two or three. I'm going to go back to Ghana. 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 My grandma prefers me with no makeup. She still says I'm pretty. So, yeah, that builds my confidence. That 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 makes that made me me. My grandma doesn't like this lipstick. <laughs> says it's too dark. I think I want to model someday. But I need to find the right agency, and no, actually, I want to present. Like I want to be a presenter. I think I've got the per perfect personality for that. I think I'm not sure. When I get in camera and love as I'm I got naked. Look at myself. It's Bugweni, and I just asked myself, "Who could see me wrong?" And I saw nothing wrong with me. And I found that I could say I must accept myself. Just the way I am. So our culture is right, especially Abezul. They believe it. Once you have hips, you umfaz. That's not true. Umfaz can be a slender. When you go size 32, culture should not be that. It 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 ends with this is a slim and a nun. Oh, it ends with this funny, with this best dude. Be comfortable in your own self. At the end, you are have to be happy. Mom Zimbabwe. Sakiza <laughs> 